Are you excited for your new friend? She's gonna, oh. Hi guys, well, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've actually been getting a lot of questions about bonding two chinchillas together, which lucky for us, I filmed the entire process back when I was bonding Piglet and Quinn together. <laughs> my God. But before we get into it, I just wanna say, like a lot of things in chinchilla care, bonding is controversial as heck. Now I have done so much research on this topic and will be giving you what I believe is the safest methods, but I am not an expert and you should consult with your breeder or do tons of your own research before bonding your own chinchillas because this can be a dangerous process. All right, let's get down to business. First, let me explain the two sides of the controversy and what side I'm on and why. So there are two approaches to bonding chinchillas. There's a slow, long, drawn out process, and there's a quicker process. And there is a lot of opinions about which one is better. Personally, I believe that the slow approach is more dangerous than the quicker approach, but I didn't always believe that. Now, let me explain the ideologies of each approach. The slow introduction approach is where you introduce two chinchillas, for example, in a neutral territory. They are allowed to roam and interact for a few minutes, and then they are separated and the process is repeated the next day until they are ready to be placed in the same cage. There are a couple reasons why I believe this is unsafe, but generally I believe that people don't understand that when you separate a chinchilla in a bonding process, that it actually restarts the bonding process over again. I believe that most people think this is the best approach because it is most in line with human socialization and interaction. For example, no one wants to be stuck with a stranger all of a sudden, but gradually over time, they can become friends. For a chinchilla, that's not the same process. They will be a stranger each time they're introduced. This is why I believe the quicker approach where chinchillas can potentially permanently be together is the safer option because they aren't being reintroduced over and over and over again. So I went with the cage within a cage method when I paired Quinn and Piglet together. And the reason why I personally went with this option was because it put my mind at ease knowing that there is a barrier in between my two chinchillas. Oh. <laughs> there are more effective and quicker methods, which I will link my go-to place where I get all of my bonding tips in the description below. Before we get into it, I have a question for you. How many of you actually have bonded chinchillas or are looking to bond two chinchillas? If so, give this video a like to let me know and I'll make more videos about bonding. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment them below and I will either answer them in the comments or I will add it to one of my future videos. Also, if you have any questions about their care, make sure to check out my chinchilla care guide linked in the description below and check out my video all about chinchilla care. Now let's get back into the steps of the cage within the cage method. Here are the basic steps of any bonding process. Introduction of scent, introduction of sight, and physical introduction. So let's start with the introduction of scent. So if you just got a new chinchilla, make sure you quarantine them for at least two weeks before you start the bonding process. This will ensure that you can see if they have any medical problems that could be passed on to your resident chinchilla. During these two weeks, you personally want to bond with your chinchilla. If they trust you, the process will be a lot easier because you'll be able to pick them up, move them, whatever you need to do, it will make it a lot easier if you have a connection with your new chinchilla. After two weeks, you wanna start swapping scents. To do this, you first wanna start off with swapping their cage accessories. So the accessories in cage A is going to be moved to cage B. You also get bonus points if you used soft items like beds or fleece. This kind of like soaks up the smell like a sponge and this will start introducing the scent to either one of your chinchillas. The next way to introduce scent is to use the same dust bath. So first you're going to have one of your chinchillas roll in dust and you're gonna take that dust bath to your second chinchilla and have them roll in the same dust. This will start slowly introducing their scent within the dust. Lastly, you wanna switch cages. 
So you're going to take chinchilla A and bring them to chinchilla B's cage. And you're going to take chinchilla B and bring them to chinchilla A's cage. And I would actually switch them a couple times because this will start mixing their scent within the cage. Next, we will introduce sight. This will be done through the cage within the cage method. The first step in this process is you're going to need to get a small cage. This cage needs to be small enough to fit in your larger cage, but big enough to hold your chinchilla, its own food, and water. This cage also needs to have very small bar spacing so that they can't bite each other through the bars. This is very important because they can injure themselves through the bars. The next step is to set up the larger cage. So you're going to need to make space for your smaller cage to fit in your larger cage. And you want this to be in a corner so that your cage chinchilla has a space to get away from the free roam chinchilla if they desire to. So you should have two walls against the larger cage to prevent the free roam chinchilla from interacting with the cage chinchilla. The larger cage also needs to be one story. So for example, I have a double ferret nation cage, so I needed to block off the second story. So they need to primarily be on one story. The next step is to place the smaller cage within the larger cage. So make sure that you put this in a corner so that the free room chinchilla cannot get to the cage chinchilla. You also want to make sure that there is food and water in the smaller cage and then you're going to want to put something on top of the smaller cage in case your free roam chinchilla jumps on top of there it will protect their toes from the cage chinchilla nibbling on them so in this case i use a fleece bed that i clipped to the smaller cage so you want to start off with putting your alpha chinchilla in the smaller cage and then your beta chinchilla can free roam the large cage. This will kind of level the playing field a little bit if you put your more dominant chinchilla in a confined space. Okay, so I have Piglet in my little cage. She's getting ready to be introduced to Quinn. Um, let's go and put her in. If you have questions about which one of your chinchilla is more dominant, I do have a video that talks just about this topic. And it's my bonding failures video where I talk about how dominance affects the bonding process and which chinchilla is more dominant in various scenarios. Now, the first time you put them in this setup, I would supervise them just to make sure that they can't get to each other, that there's no fights breaking out, anything like that. Oh. like this for a few hours and then you're going to switch them so your free room chinchilla will now be the cage chinchilla and your cage chinchilla will be the free room chinchilla and you want to switch them at least every eight hours but it is recommended to do it a lot sooner i would suggest doing it at least every four hours but again you can get away with eight hours like overnight or if you have to work but if you're switching them more often it will be better for them but please do not leave your chinchilla in the smaller cage for longer than eight hours. They must be switched. Oh God, oh God. Yep, okay. So dumb. This process can take anywhere between four days and two weeks, with two weeks being the safest option. However, you must keep them together for the entire process. If you uh, start the cage within a cage method and then separate them and repeat that process, it will take a lot longer. But like I said earlier, every time you separate them, it kind of resets the bonding process. Now, how do you know if your chinchilla is ready to be placed in the cage together? My rule of thumb is if they start ignoring each other, they are probably starting or are ready to be placed in the cage together. However, I would suggest you wait a couple more days after you notice this to make sure that everything is in order before you place them in the cage together. I believe that they are ready to be put in the same cage. So essentially, chinchillos will communicate that they are ready to be put in the same cage because when they have interactions like they just had where they put noses together and there's no squealing or jumping or running around, um, basically means that they are accustomed to each other. 
Now lastly, we are going to do a physical introduction where you take both your chinchillas and put them in the cage together for the very first time without that barrier. First thing I want to say is whatever day you decide to put them in the cage together, make sure that you can be there the entire day to supervise because if anything happens, you want to be right there to jump in and separate them. Now there are a few steps you want to go through before putting them right in the cage. And the first is you want to clean everything in the cage. This will get rid of either one of those chinchillas scents so that they are less territorial. So I would clean with white vinegar or Dawn dish soap to remove the scent of either chinchilla. Next, you want to rearrange everything in the cage. This again will make the chinchilla that used to live there not realize that it's their space. And bonus tips if you move the cage to a new location because chinchillas not only believe that the cage itself is their territory, but they believe about three feet around their cage is their territory as well. So moving them even slightly to a new location will kind of put them in a situation where they need to reclaim their territory, essentially. Now we're going to start putting them into the cage. First, you want to put a dust bath in the cage and you're going to start with your beta chinchilla. You do not want to put the alpha in the cage first because they will they will essentially claim it as theirs. You don't want to do that. So you're going to take your beta chinchilla and you're going to put them directly into the dust bath. Now they're going to roll and exit the cage and you're going to take your alpha chinchilla and put them into the dust bath. This putting them into the dust bath method will kind of slowly introduce their scent to each other because for the first couple of minutes they're going to smell like dust instead of this is a new chinchilla so it will slowly introduce the scent to each other and the environment now this last step is the moment of truth this is either going to make or break your bonding process and this is the introduction phase of the cage within a cage method so this is where you're going to put both of your chinchilla into the cage together for the first time without a barrier. Once they are together, you should expect a little chasing, humping, fur slips, squealing, and dominance grooming. This is all normal, but if it becomes aggressive, like they start fighting, or any other aggressive negative behaviors, you need to separate them immediately. And if this does happen, you want to keep them separated for a couple days to a week and then restart the bonding process over again. This kind of resets all that negative tension and allows for a fresh start. However, if your chinchilla does become injured, I would highly suggest that you keep them separated. And this is solely just because they have broken this trust that nothing serious is going to happen while you're not around. Oh, this is so cute. Never seen chinchillas like enjoy doing this. They're always really squeaky. <laughs> oh, look how wet her face is now. <laughs> Quinn just drooled all over her face. And she liked it. Look at her. Look at that face. <laughs> oh, we got a little smile. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that was it. So as a responsible chinchilla owner introducing two chinchillas together, you want to make sure you have two completely separate cage setups for each one of your chinchillas to live separate lives. So each chinchilla should be able to have their own cage setup where they can live alone for the rest of their time with you. Make sure you have that before considering getting a separate chinchilla to introduce to your resident chinchilla. I am the alpha. Me the baby. So noisy. Wow. Like I said before, the basic steps of 
bonding is introduction of scent, introduction of sight, and physical introduction. This is actually pretty accurate with other animal species as well, which is why in my next video I'm going to be using a similar process where I bond my two rescue cats. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified the next time I post. However, while you wait for those videos, make sure to check out these videos next. And don't forget, in the link in the description below, I have my chinchilla care guide if you need any extra help on their care. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you understand, I am twice your size. Wow. Why are you drying? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> None of that.